Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about LOD expressions which are nothing but level of detail expressions. LOD expressions allows you to compute calculations at various levels of granularity. So granularity is nothing but the level or scale of data. Basically in Tableau we have uh, three types of uh, LOD expressions, fixed, ex include and exclude. We will understand one by one with examples. First we will discuss about fixed LOD expression. Fixed LOD expression lets you compute values at specific dimensions without considering the dimensions present in the view. So to explain, uh, let me build one sample view showing sales by region and state. Let me drag region to rows and state next to the region and drag sales to the text so now we have some of sales showing showing a region by region and state so to find the percentage contribution percentage of total for each state you need to get the total value at the region level but in the view you have region and state if you directly drag and drop sum of sales you are getting the uh, sales value for each state but not at the region level so in such scenarios you need to uh, fix the calculation to, cal to compute values at the region level for that let me write a calculation name the calculation as sales at region the syntax to write LOD calculation is you need to write in four brackets and you need to mention as I told you before we have three types of LODs you need to mention fixed or uh, exclude or include any one of this type and then dimension so dimension is not mandatory here if you want to uh, compute a calculation irrespective of dimension um, so I will explain you about that one later you don't have to sometimes you don't have to write, write a, give a dimension if you want to uh, get the calculation uh, for the table so the, those are called table scope calculations I will discuss that thing in the later part of this video okay so for now you remember it like first you need to provide fixed exclude or include any uh, one of this type and then dimension followed by colon any aggregate function and then measure field so this is the basic syntax of uh, writing LOD expression so writing dimension name is not mandatory all the time uh, if you are going to use um, fixed LOD so they are called table scope uh, calculations uh, we will discuss about that in the later part of this video now let me write a calculation that gives sales at region level so for that fix the calculation at the dimension of region then change the aggregation to sum we are going to use sales as measure field and then click ok now let me drag this calculation to the text and change this one as a table so if you see the values displayed at sales of the region this value is repeated for all the state records because this is the total value coming based on the region Okay, so to get the percentage of total, we need to divide the sales value of each state by the total value of the region, each region central. So if you select all the states values here, you can see the sum of total for all the states is 501240, which is the output that we are getting from the fixed LOD. Let me divide this. 
sum of sales by sales at region then the calculation as percentage of total sum of sales divided by sales at the region since the numerator is at the aggregate level you need to give the aggregate function and then click Okay, with this name calculation on two percentage of total sales. Right click and change the number format to percentage. So which means uh, here Indiana state contributes to 10.68 percentage. You select all the values of percentage of total sales it will give you one that is equal to 100 percent so now we are getting the percentage of totals for each PG. if you want to get the uh, total value irrespective of the dimension in that case you can simply uh, write the aggregate uh, function and the measure within the flower baguettes like this so this one sum of sales and then click ok let's see the output of this uh, calculation so if I drag state and region now drag this uh, table total sales calculation if you see this value is repeating for um, every record in this view because this calculation is finding the total irrespective of any dimension uh, if you simply drag sum of sales you will see the total value so this same value is repeated for every record when you use the table scope calculation. You can also write this calculation in terms of fixed LOD. Let me edit this calculation. So if you give fixed and colon without mentioning any dimension, so this will give you the same output. Click OK see we have the same output like before calculation so these calculations are called table scope calculations exclude LOD lets you exclude a dimension which is present on the view for example we can achieve the same requirement um, to get the sales at the region level just by excluding the state here okay uh, so let us uh, rewrite the calculation using exclude LOD. So right click and edit the same calculation. So instead of uh, fixed, we will use exclude. So now if you exclude state from here, you will get the sales at region level. Because in the view, we have only two dimensions region and state. And now you are asking here to exclude the state from the view. Then click OK. If you see, uh, the values are same. Because now also we are getting the values at the region level. So, but um, you should know when to use exclude and when to use fixed body. So basically, in this case, um, the same um, fixed and exclude works for the same requirement. So how do you decide which one to use, fixed or exclude? When you can achieve the requirement with either of the fixed or exclude expression. So a few observations are, so here you, we have only the two dimensions so that it is easy to write a exclude. If you have multiple dimensions present in the view, for example, you have segment 
have stayed present in the view. In this case, if you want to get the uh, sales value at the region, you need to exclude segment, state, and sorry, I have repeated the column. Um, let's say ship mode. So you have to write the calculation saying that you need to exclude segment, state, and shipment. So instead of that, you can directly use fixed and get their value. And one more thing is exclude expression will always be a measure. You cannot convert it to a dimension. For example, so it can be discrete, but you cannot uh, convert it to a dimension. If you drag and drop onto the dimensions, it will not allow you to do that. Whereas the fixed LOD expression, right click and change it as a fixed LOD, fixed region. See now the calculation is moved to dimension segment. So why do you need to convert it a dimension? Maybe sometimes you might have need uh, you sometimes you may need to create bins out of the measure. Now we have the option to create bins. So let me go back and show you when uh, you have uh, exclude LOD. Okay, now we have exclude state sum of sales. See now uh, you don't have option to create bins from the exclude LOD expression. This is one observation. Next important thing is you should know the order of filtering in Tableau. If you see here the order of operations in Tableau. First extract filters are applied and then data source filters, context filters. Uh, before applying dimension filters, so these filters are applied sets, condition filter, stop and, and fixed LOD expressions are applied. So after dimension filters include or exclude, exclude LOD calculations are computed, which means if you have dimension filters present in the view, you should uh, be very cautious to use fixed LOD or include or exclude LOD because uh, if we wanted to first apply the fixed LOD, first compute the calculation, LOD calculation before dimension filter, then you should go for fixed LOD. Whereas if you are going to, if the requirement is to apply the dimension filter first and then compute the value, in that case you can choose either of include or exclude depending on the calculation requirement. Okay, that, that is about uh, when to use fixed or exclude LOD. Next, we will see the include LOD expression. Include LOD expression allows you to compute values in addition to the dimensions which are present in the view. Let me explain with an example for that. I am going to create one sample visualization. Let me drag region to the rows. and drag sales to the text. Let me convert the aggregation to average. Drag sales to the text again and convert it as a table. Okay, now in the view we have sum of sales and average sales by region. Before going to discuss about include expression, let us understand how this average of sales is calculated. So this sales value is divided by the total number of records present for the central region. You see the average of sales. So for that, let us see the number of records present for each region. Let me drag number of records to the measure value shelf. Okay, now let me open calculator. If you divide by 0, 1, 2, 4, 0, divided by 2, 3, 2, 3, 
okay yeah this one gives you 21577 so let me change the decimal places for average of sales measure right click choose format and then select custom to add decimal places so this is fine uh, this is how the average of sales is calculated but if your requirement is to get the average of sales by customer for each region if you see here the customer name is not present in the view but still you want that that dimension uh, to be included in the calculation so in that case you can use include LOD expression let me write the calculation create calculated field name the calculation as include customer sales okay syntax you know dimension we are going to add customer name dimension sum of sales and then click ok if you drag this calculation to the measure values so now we are getting the sum of value if we change this aggregation type to average So you can see the average values when you directly take the average of sales this value is different and the average computed based on the customer name is different. So let me explain how this 797 we are getting. Let me drag uh, for that we need to find the number of customers for each region. So right create one other calculation and the calculation is hash of customers and count distinct of customer name and then click ok uh, let me drag this calculation to the measure values uh, if you see here for central region we have 629 customers let me open calculator so if you divide total sales value of central region 501240 divided by number of customers for that region is 629 so which is 796.88 so let's see the decimal places is 796.88 so this is how uh, the calculation is computed average of sales include by adding the customer name to the competition so in this scenario what we are doing is uh, we are including the customer name to the calculation to compute the values I have some more LOD calculations added in my channel please go through them i will give the link in the description so if you have any questions please do, do let me know in the comment section thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button